Hi guys, it's Megan from Skinny Fitalicious. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan. I'm a nutrition practitioner and a certified health coach, and I'm also the author of the popular blog, Skinny Fitalicious, where I create skinny, gluten-free recipes that are easy and delicious. So today I'm here on Monday to talk about another Monday meal prep recipe that you can do that is super easy. And what inspired this particular recipe was I had a, a potential client who emailed me last week who wanted to lose weight and she said to me, I am so sick of eating chicken. It's so boring. And I asked her how she was eating it and she's like, well, salt and pepper. I'm like, well, that's why you don't like it. See, the thing about chicken is there's so many glorious ways to be able to eat it, so many different things you can do with it. It's one of my favorite high protein foods because you can just flavor it in so many different ways. It's so adaptable. You just have to think out of the box. So today I'm going to help you think out of the box by giving you a super, super easy meal prep recipe that I'm sure is going to knock your socks off because this is pizza chicken. Yes, I said pizza chicken, but it's gonna be low carb. So we're gonna drop the carbs, we're gonna keep all the rest of the delicious pizza ingredients, and we're gonna add chicken so that we get some great lean protein here. And it's all gonna be done in one skillet in less than 20 minutes so that you can meal prep healthy lunches and dinners for yourself for the rest of the week. And I'm gonna show you how it can be done. So first things first is I already have my chicken made. So what I did was I put some extra virgin olive oil in my pan and then I used my secret pizza seasoning mix, which is onion powder, garlic powder, and some oregano, salt, and pepper. I guess it's not so secret anymore. So anyways, that is my favorite, favorite pizza-like flavoring. What I do is I put all of those together in a ramekin, I mix them together, and then I put them on the chicken, but I don't just sprinkle them on the chicken. And this is what my big secret is to making the best chicken. And I swear you not guys, my boyfriend says every time I make chicken, he's like, you make the best chicken and I have no idea why. I don't know how you're doing that. So my big secret to making the best chicken ever is rubbing the seasoning actually into the meat. First of all, you wanna make sure your meat is at room temperature. So before you're gonna cook, you wanna keep it out of the refrigerator for a good 20 minutes, bring it to room temperature. I know it sounds really strange, like what? Do I really wanna leave protein, like a chicken, out on the counter for that long? Yes, you do. You want it to be at room temperature so it doesn't get really tough when you cook it. You want it to be juicy and tender, right? So, but to make it really, really good, enticing, so that you wanna eat it over and over again, you have to rub it into the chicken. Rub that seasoning right into the chicken, the salt and pepper, whatever you're putting on it. So in this recipe, that's what I did. And then I put it in the pan with some extra virgin olive oil. I cooked it about four minutes on each side. Now for the good stuff, to make it and turn it into pizza chicken. This is one skillet pizza chicken. So what I'm gonna do, I have some marinara sauce, and you can do this basically with anything you want. You can get some you know, diced tomatoes, um, crushed tomatoes in a can, and, and make your own sauce. Um, I just really like this Trader Joe's marinara sauce. There's no added sugar or salt. Um, so that's a big thing when you're looking for um, like a spaghetti sauce or a marinara sauce to kind of make food quickly. You really want to make sure it doesn't have added sugar, it doesn't have added salt. You want to look at the ingredients and make sure there's nothing else funky that you can't pronounce or don't know what it is in the ingredients. So that's what I do. I just try to make it as easy as possible. I look at the ingredients, make sure it's a clean food, and then I try to look for those convenience products and buy them to make cooking and meal prepping a lot easier because I don't wanna spend hours and hours in the kitchen, but I still wanna eat good food and I still wanna put good healthy food in my body. That's important to me. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn on, first of all, I'm gonna turn on my broiler to high. So that's going. And then I'm going to turn on the marinara sauce just to low. I have about a cup of marinara sauce already going in here. So after I took the chicken off, what I wanted to do was kind of get all of that really good dark um, chicken leftover oil that's in the pan. And I wanted to kind of, you know, pull it up with that marinara sauce. I'm going to add though one more cup of marinara sauce. And then I'm also going to add some more seasonings to this as well. So the other seasonings I have for the sauce, and this is why I really like doing just plain crushed tomatoes 
or a marinara sauce is that I can really season it up the way I want to. So people ask all the time, why can't I use, you know, um, a vodka sauce or why can't I use a spaghetti sauce? Well, you can. It's perfectly fine with you. I just really like to season my own and I really like to know what I'm putting in it. I guess I'm a control freak. I don't know. But when you're trying to lose weight, it's really important to think about those things and to really get to know those things because there's so many sneaky ingredients in different foods. And this is actually something I teach in my fat loss program online. I have an online program where I give you like over 26 videos and I talk about all these different things that you need to look for in foods, especially when you're trying to lose weight. And I give you easy hacks like this to help make it easier so it doesn't feel like it's so much work. Um, so then the other thing is I'm gonna season this up with about two teaspoons of, I mean one teaspoon of basil, so I want a lot of basil in the sauce. And then I also have some crushed red pepper, which you can opt to put in or not. I love spicy food, so um, I like to go to town on that. So that's just me. But obviously you can season that as you know little or less as you want, or just omit it all together. Okay, so everything is in. I'm just gonna like kind of stir that together. Let the seasonings mix in with the sauce. And then from there, I'm gonna add the chicken back into the sauce. So I have my chicken that's already been made, but now I want it to really marinate in with that sauce. Get nice and juicy and good. So move that over. All right, there, so my chicken is in, perfect. So, next thing I'm gonna do to make this really pizza, there's two more ingredients. Pepperoni, I know you're gonna say, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? You don't have to eat the pepperoni if you don't want to. Everything is optional here, guys. You can make this any way you want. You can just eat the chicken like this if you want, and put some cheese on, doesn't matter. So pepperoni, one thing that a lot of people don't know, especially my clients that I coach one-on-one -on -one for weight loss, they don't realize that you can actually get turkey pepperoni. So you still feel like you're eating pizza, but they're less, lower in saturated fat, and lower in sodium generally than regular pepperoni. You can eat regular pepperoni here, you can eat turkey pepperoni, you just have to look at the grocery store. Usually the turkey pepperoni is right next to the regular pepperoni. You just have to find it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some pepperoni on top. I have about a quarter of a cup. Just wanna add that on top of my chicken breast. And oh, by the way, if you are looking for a meal that you can prep ahead of time and like pull out of the freezer and make anytime you want, this is one of those meals that you can also basically put all of the ingredients in a Ziploc bag in your freezer, pull them out of the Ziploc bag when you're ready and, and thaw them and then just make them so that everything is already together in the freezer, just label it. Don't leave it in there for more than, I'd say, three months. And then that way you've got your chicken and your sauce and everything is all together and you know what you need to make the, the recipe. All right, I'm gonna swap some of these out because they are a little crinkly on me. And I'm particular about this, okay. So we're gonna get this on here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some low moisture mozzarella cheese, okay? So this is skim mozzarella cheese. Again, you can put whatever cheese you want. You can omit the cheese if you're paleo, totally up to you. But to give it the real pizza flair, I'm just gonna add some cheese on top. And a little bit goes a long way here. So again, when you're watching your weight, you really wanna watch how much cheese you're putting on. Cheese is a really great form of calcium and dairy that you know, a lot of times we tend to go overboard on. It is higher in fat and calories. So even though it's a food that's good for you, it's only good for you in small amounts. So I would say I'm gonna have total here about a quarter of a cup of this shredded mozzarella. to do 
I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna broil it on high for five minutes just so that the cheese can broil, that everything can kind of bubble up. It's gonna look gorgeous, it's gonna taste gorgeous, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the oven for five minutes. And make sure you're using an oven safe pan, especially when you're doing this. Okay, so what goes with this? So there's so many different things you can put with this. Please don't put bread with it because it's not gonna be low carb anymore. So if you're watching your weight, a great thing I love to put with this recipe is bro roasted broccoli. So as soon as the chicken comes out of the oven, I'm gonna put the, bake this, roast this at 375 for about 15 minutes with some salt and pepper and it's delicious. I'm gonna tell you that not everybody loves broccoli and you're probably sitting there going, oh, I hate broccoli. Okay, but broccoli, one of the things I've learned over the years when I lost my own weight several years ago is that you have to try vegetables in different ways to see if you actually like them. Um, like for me, for instance, I hate eating broccoli raw. I can't, I can't do it. It just, it's disgusting. But for some reason, I really love steamed broccoli or roasted broccoli. And roasted broccoli is my favorite. So if I can find a way to make myself eat the food and like it, then I'm gonna eat it over and over again. And a lot of times that's key, and that's something that I try to teach the people that I coach one-on-one -on -one to help them lose weight, is to figure out what are those different methods of cooking that really help you eat the foods that are better for you and make you want to eat those foods. So that's really one of the things I wanted to mention was, was that's what I'm gonna pair with the chicken, and that's how I, how I like to make it for myself. Again, you can do it however you want. Now, for as far as meal prepping goes, what I like to do is I like to, when all of this is done and ready to go, I like to divide and portion it out right away. Because guess what? If I take all of this food and I put it in one big container in the refrigerator, it's very likely that I'm gonna overeat that food. So you want to be very careful about that. You have, portion sizes are extremely important when you're trying to lose weight, which is why I really like these meal prep containers because you can, they're already pre-portioned for you. It takes all of, the, all of the thinking out of it, which is so easy. I mean, today we're so busy, we don't have time. And oh, by the way, what you meal prep at once, you put it in four different containers because this makes four servings. You're gonna be able to take it with you on the go and it's done. Like either you pull it out for dinner when you get home from work or you take it with you for a healthy lunch. Bam, life is done. You don't have to think about what you're eating for lunch or dinner. So easy. And it comes with these convenient covers. You just put them right in the refrigerator. They're BPA free. So, so easy, so convenient. So look for those kind of options to help make your recipes and cooking easier. So I'm gonna leave a couple links in the comments for a few things um, that I talked about in today's session. The full recipe that I just talked about is gonna be up on the blog in a couple of weeks, so watch for it. My meal prep recipes always come up on Saturdays, so swing by on, on Saturday to see what the latest meal prep recipe is to get the latest tips and tricks to have, make healthy eating easy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below, in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye guys.